iOS versus Windows computers. Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Nick and I've been a Windows user for all my life. But now this year I switched to iOS and I'm going to tell you what I like about switching from Windows to iOS. What are the benefits? Uh, what are some of the negatives? And just what I think of these two operating systems. Before we get inside, uh, let's look at the outside. What is the difference there? When it comes to Windows PCs, you can pretty much customly build them the way you want. Um, you can buy the parts and put the computer together uh, and that's it. But if you want to use iOS, um, you're not going to be able to do it that way. Uh, you can only buy, let's say, pre-built computers. The computers that are built the way they're built and that's it. You can buy different models, but uh, that's it. They are fixedly built, or I guess that's the right way to say it. What I'm trying to say, yeah, when it comes to using Windows PCs, um, they're a lot more customizable. You can build them however you want. iOS devices are just built the way they're built, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can buy different models, but that's about it. And then once you start and go into the systems, that's where like the real difference happens. Um, iOS is probably not just from my opinion, but it looks a lot better inside. Everything just looks the way it should be. Like we're in 2022, uh, iOS looks like futuristic, the, the way it should be. And Windows is just, it's not that futuristic as it should be in my opinion. Another thing is when you try to find certain folders or whatever it is, I found iOS a lot easier when it comes to that. Just everything works a lot easier. When I was using Windows, everything just feels messed up and not as organized as it is on Apple's computers. Uh, but I don't know if that's just me. I give that a big plus to Apple computers that uh, inside it's just much better. And then if we look at the price that these devices cost from different operating systems, Windows computers are a lot cheaper than Apple's computers, so that's a big benefit for a lot of people. Although I think it's still worth it to put more money, especially if you are using these uh, computers for your work, uh, for something that you earn money, I would highly recommend that you invest into computers because it's going to save you a lot of time at the end of the day. Uh, so spending money on computers, I would say is absolutely worth it. I switched from PC to iOS this year and I am super glad that I did. Now obviously this is something that everybody should decide for themselves, but if you are working with computers, I would say invest into a good computer because there's nothing worse having a bad computer for what you're working. And now let's talk about the internet browsers that uh, you use on certain devices. When it comes to Mac computers, you have Safari and Chrome. But when it comes to Windows, you have Chrome. Now, a lot of people prefer Chrome and I would prefer it as well, which is not really a good thing when you're using Mac computers, especially laptops, because Chrome will drain your battery a lot faster than Safari. But I gotta say, ever since I switched from Windows to Apple, uh, I've been using Safari from the first day and I don't really have any complaints. I feel like Safari is a good internet browser as well. Um, you just need to spend some time on it and get used to it and that's what everything in life. So if you are using Mac computers, definitely use Safari because uh, it's gonna save your battery a lot more than Chrome. Alright, uh, one of the biggest pros when you're using iOS is also if you use other iOS devices. If you use iPhone, uh, AirPods, whatever from Apple, uh, all these things connect with each other so good. And there's a lot of fu functions that open up for you. For example, AirDrop is an unbelievable function that I use all the time to transfer photos, videos from my computer to my phone. So if you are using more products from iOS and just the overall functions in iOS, I feel like um, it's very well designed. And yeah, like I said, all the devices just work perfectly together. If you do decide to buy an Apple computer, um, definitely learn all the function and try to master iOS as much as you can because there's so many shortcuts and everything that will help you 
operate this system a lot faster. Uh, once you actually yeah, start to master it, it becomes really fun to use. And I definitely recommend putting some time into knowing uh, how iOS works. If you're using computers for your work, I would highly recommend investing a little bit more money into your uh, computers. It will make a huge change, especially for me. When I switched, uh, yeah, my mind just opened up. Everything just works and feels a lot better. I'm not really trying to compare uh, Windows versus iOS in a way which one is better and why you should use that one. But I'm just saying that I've used both of these two operating systems and I can recommend iOS over Windows just because it's better in uh, a lot of ways. If you want to use your computer for video games or something like that, then Windows is going to be your better option. But what I'm trying to say from a video editing, photo editing perspective, Apple computers are, in my opinion, a lot better. There's a ton more things that I could talk about in this video. Uh, and the best way that you're going to know for yourself which operating system should you choose is by trying both of them. And yeah, that's going to be the easiest way for you to decide uh, what you want to pick and use in your future. Uh, I hope this video was a little bit helpful when it comes to comparing these two operating systems. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below, drop a comment, follow me on my other social medias, and join me in my next video because I'll be making a ton more. Uh, bye.